Hello YouTube, this is Multi Holsters coming at you, www.multiholsters.com, or feel free to email me at multiholsters at yahoo.com. Coming at you today with a uh, pretty cool product that uh, one of the Kydex makers just came out with, a product called Holstex, another um, form of Kydex. And uh, I ordered um, a sheet, this is called Carbon Fiber, and I uh, ordered it just to see what it was all about and see... Um, you know, uh, if it's easier, harder to work with, whatever the case may be. And um, I may put out a video as to, you know, how to work with it for your do-it-yourselfers. And if you are a do-it-yourselfer and you are planning on working with this stuff, I'll tell you what, there is definitely a learning curve um, from this stuff versus the regular Kydex. Different heating temperatures, different cooling times, different... Um, ways to maneuver it. One thing that I just learned, this is the very first holster that I made with this stuff. Uh, for some reason, one side, when it comes to you and, and the sheet, it comes basically shiny on both sides. And when, then after you heat it, one side gets dull and one side stays say, say shiny. I'm not quite sure why. And uh, I fortunately or unfortunately put the shiny side on the inside. So it is what it is. But uh, this is an inside the waistband holster for a car PM9 obviously and just to let you know weapon is clear nothing in the magazine we are safe so whole stacks from Kai from a Kydex from knifekits.com uh, basically just tell you a little bit about my holsters this is a uh, inside the waistband with integrated belt loops. I did uh, change over the belt loop clip so to make it uh, quite a bit more heavy duty. It's fastened with a couple of 4140 steel screws. It's mechanically fastened. Let me see if I can adjust the light here. Mechanically fastened to the holster. It's what I call a fold over clip. It has a couple of uh, routed out notches here that you can put your fingers in, slide it up under the, uh, the belt, take it out Pretty much a uh, one hand application will uh, will do it uh, inside or out. Um, this is an inside the waistband, obviously. Sweat shield to uh, keep uh, perspiration away from the, the gun and, and to keep it from rubbing on your skin. Um, a retention screw with a little rubber grommet, if you can see that inside, to um, adjust the retention. You can make it a little tighter, a little looser. This uh, has a, a little bit of a forward cant to it um, versus straight draw. Straight draw would be straight up and down. This here has a little bit about a, about a 15 degree cant to it. And uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Has uh, very good retention. Has really good definition. It's pretty cool looking Kydex. It actually uh, has the texture on both sides, the inside and the outside. And just so you can see the uh, detail work, see if I can adjust this light here. What, uh, what I do, just take a quick peek at it. Now if you're wondering why I've got this little uh, bump out here, typically I'm a big laser fan as you all may know. Typically, when you have a regular gun, um, let's see, I don't even have one to show you. But a lot of times, you can, uh, I put the screw right inside this area here. Obviously, the laser bumps it out so much that when I cut this, I have to leave a little bit of a bump out for uh, material so I can actually put a retention screw in. It's very minimal as far as uh, Kydex. I know a lot of people are making a lot of these holsters, um, very common. Um, they use a lot of material and you know what that's great that's their style this is my style this is what I like to do this is what I like to produce but uh, nonetheless this is uh, for the car PM9 PM40 same thing with uh, crimson trace laser on it and I uh, just wanted to come to you and show you uh, one of the new products um, there is going to be an upcharge on that material uh, I'm not sure just yet I'm actually going to be making a, a couple more prototypes because, like I say, there is a learning curve and I don't want to put out anything that's uh, inferior. If I'm going to put something out, you're going to get a good product. I'm, I'm going to perfect my, uh, my technique on it first before I start uh, putting it out there. But uh, it does cost me a little bit more material-wise 
And um, who knows, maybe in a couple of weeks I might be easier to work with than regular Kydex. I'm so used to work with regular Kydex every day. But uh, this stuff here, like I say, it, it, it did take me a little bit longer. Um, so anyway, that's what we have. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. Really cool color scheme. I, I, I love the colors. It's, it's great contrast to the, to the weapon. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, if you have any questions, once again, it is multiholsters at yahoo.com is my email or look me up on the web at www.multiholsters.com. Thank you.